everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I'm missing everybody a lot, so I decided I would make some videos of some of the stuff we'd be talking about anyway and help you figure out ways to do some of our projects at home. Um, today we're going to talk about mandalas. A mandala is basically a circle that uses radial symmetry or balance to create a geometric pattern. Um, because you may not have art supplies at home or because you might be trying to come up with something a little bit different or more creative, I decided I'm going to make a mandala using some of the stuff I have around my house. So because the mandala starts with a center point, I'm going to use a Lego because you know I always have Legos. And so I started rummaging around my kids' stuff and I really don't, they're, you know, my kids are older now so they don't have as much stuff as they used to. But I was able to find six of a couple of different things. So my um, mandala is going to be based on the number six. Those of you who have had me before know that I love snowflakes and snowflakes also are based on the number six. So I'm going to make this so it starts in the center and it's going to go around one, two, three, four, five, uh-oh, I don't like that those match. I'm going to move that guy. I'm going to move that guy. All right. So, I started with the center point, and I did the same thing six times in the same space. So, if I put this like this, I would also move that car like that. Symmetry doesn't mean that it has to be identical. It means it has to have the same amount of weight or balance. So, it balances. So, But I liked it better the other way, so it was like spokes. You know what, I'm just gonna get rid of that guy completely. There we go. I'll do a pattern. I'll do an ABC pattern. A, B, C, A, B, C. All right, now I was digging around and, oh, this fish lost his head. I'm going to add some little fish toys. Wonder if I have the right, I don't have enough of these to do a pattern, so I'm just going to do them randomly. So because I put this here, I can go all the way across and put that one there in exactly the same spot across the circle. I've been creating mandalas with some other household objects. I can post those also, but I won't make you watch me make it. All right. And then, let's see what else I have. Oh, more Legos. Clattering you here is my cat. It's Clementine. The other cat is not feeling well, so he's in my room. Oh no, oh yeah. Okay. So mandala is a loose translation of the word um, circle in Sanskrit because many different cultures use mandalas to help them focus and to help them um, connect their thoughts to the outside world. But lots of um, different cultures use them and you can also find mandalas naturally in nature. You can find them in pine cones, you can find them in snowflakes. So I'm gonna have six little mini figures. Again, they don't have to be identical. They just have to have the same amount of balance or weight. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Oh, in front of a car, sorry. <sighs> All right, there we go. So that's a very, very, very simple toy mandala. You can do that with anything. You can do it with um, little pine cones. You can do it with sticks. You can do it with pretty much anything you want. I um, did it earlier with some candy. I did it with some knives and forks. I don't want you to use anything without permission unless it's yours. I had to get permission from Amelia and Christopher to use their toys. Um, but earlier, they were my forks, so I'll show you that one later. Um, I miss you guys. You can comment on this video or you can write me at Dojo or you can email me on my email. Love you. Bye.